okay so in terms of ipr it's good we already have our you know our target there and let's go to the calculation for the esp itself okay i'm going to squeeze this auto hide okay so it's already computed first is the head in terms of net vertical net vertical lift you can open your textbook it's already there and the calculation is this one so the net vertical dynamic lift will be here actually in true vertical depth okay be careful there it's all about vertical depth true vertical depth minus this the both pump intake pressure divided by the mixture gradient okay and the head is actually 1887 basically it's the head it's the head you need to push or to lift the you know the fluid from the pump intake okay pump intake depth to the surface okay so that's the head you need okay that's the head you need to provide for the pump and then friction loss you also need to provide head to go against the friction loss okay that's that's what it means okay and friction loss in terms of feed okay if you convert the friction loss to depth or to distance it will be 65 feet so how do how do we calculate that it's 20 multiplied by this the the measured depth okay because it's you know it's it's friction loss so it doesn't consider the true vertical depth what it needs is the measured depth because it's actually the distance that the this is the actually the length that the friction is applicable that's the the friction is applied and then divided by 1000 so it's very easy and the head for tubing head pressure okay so it's the head that you need to provide to go against the well head pressure because well head pressure from the pump point of view it's actually a back pressure okay it's a resistance so you need to go against that resistance if you convert it to length if you convert it to distance it's actually 300 feet how do you calculate that so here the flowing well head pressure or the tubing head pressure multiplied by 2.31 divided by the specific gravity very easy and then you can just sum them up to get the total dynamic head of 2253 so it's the the pump should be strong enough okay should be strong enough to lift the water to lift the fluid to go to this distance okay so that's the concept you need the pump is should be strong enough powerful enough to lift the water from the bottom hole to the distance of 2253 feet okay so that's the meaning of the head dynamic head and of course to be able to lift the liquid from the bottom hole okay to this distance you need to have a good pump and the good pump can be represented in the number of stages that the pump have the pump has okay